The United States military is one of the most heavily funded military systems in the world, which is why it's no surprise that America is on a continuous journey on innovating powerful weapons that are bound to be game changers. When it comes to war machines, it's well known that aerial machineries provide great leverage due to a multitude of reasons. Among these are the ability to launch missiles from a safe distance, higher chances of being undetected, and having a better visual over enemy lines. With that, the US Air Force aims to get a lot of firepower airborne quickly. And just recently, it seems that years of testing and development will soon introduce a program that will undeniably tip the battlefield towards the states and its allies. This initiative aims to not only repurpose already existing aircrafts to be something more useful in the battlefield, but also test the capabilities and extent of the U.S. Air Force's research and development team. The repurposing of existing aircrafts to powerful munitions have been dubbed as the Rapid Dragon Bombs. The U.S. Air Force had been developing new ways to use its aircraft systems in order to prepare for war against capable opponents. And a major part of that effort is to repurpose its massive aircrafts that includes cargo planes and tankers. The U.S. Air Force Special Operations Command has developed a new purpose for their older aircrafts like the C-130 Hercules, the C-17 Globemaster, and the MC-130JS. These military aircrafts have long been used as troop, medevac, and cargo transport, but the new initiative from the United States Air Force breaks these barriers and allows these aircrafts to become much more. The Rapid Dragon Initiative aims to repurpose these existing aircraft units and turn them into valuable munition deployers in the battlefield, sending down missiles from a distance. The name Rapid Dragon is an homage to an ancient Chinese siege weapon that specializes in taking down targets from a distance. In a similar fashion, aircrafts under the Rapid Dragon initiative are expected to help on the offense by firing missiles from afar. Sending these huge and hefty aircrafts in the front line would only spell disaster because of their lessened mobility due to their size and weight. Thus, the need for them to be in the back line, sniping enemy units from afar. This initiative essentially converts cargo planes into arsenal aerial ships. How it works. The Rapid Dragon initiative involves using the MC-130JS and other airlifters which were used for cargo and transport. It's said that the beauty of this system lies in the fact that it doesn't require any aircraft modification and doesn't require any special crew training. The crew simply have to fly the aircrafts as usual because they will simply be dropping palletized munitions. More specifically, Rapid Dragon is a palletized munitions experimentation campaign that explores the feasibility and advantages of dropping long-range palletized munitions from the air, using already existing U.S. aircrafts without having to modify the planes themselves. The Air Force can potentially gain leverage from this project because these rapidly deployable palletized munitions can saturate the airspace with multiple weapons and effects, complicate the targeting solutions of enemy lines, assist in opening access for critical targets, and deplete the stockpile of an adversary's air defense. Because of the sheer firepower that comes from the Rapid Dragon aircrafts, these units can cover for many smaller fighter jets and aircrafts allowing these aircrafts to be reserved for other specialized missions, while the Rapid Dragon units enter the battlefield in their stead instead. In addition, a high firepower aerial unit is a rare sight in the battlefield that many oppositions do not know how to counter this initiative, making it a strong means of deterrence as well. Basically, Rapid Dragon aims to use cargo planes and palletized munitions hand in hand to produce a high power air unit. Palletized Munitions Palletized munitions are not new creations. These are traditional weapons employed via airdrop from a cargo aircraft that uses a specially designed deployment box on a standard airdrop platform. 
A fully functional system is designed as a roll-on, roll-off capability to enable rapid fielding, which also eliminates the need to modify the host aircraft. Currently, the United States Air Force is working to employ multiple palletized munitions platforms in a six-weapon configuration, C-130, and nine-weapon configuration, C-17. But the goal is to further refine these attributes. They are aiming to increase payload options and configurations with additional weapon systems. In this upgraded system, weapons with preloaded targeting information are mounted into a weapon release mechanism and loaded onto the airlift aircraft. A series of tests. To make the Rapid Dragon come to life, a series of tests were needed in order to assess the plausibility of the program. Back in 2020, the Air Force Research Laboratory had tested the palletized munition concept back in the early months of the year by dropping wooden pallets that simulate munitions from C-17 and MC-130J aircrafts. Follow-up tests in mid-2021, these munitions displayed the viability of passing targeting data to military cargo planes. In a test conducted in November of the same year, an AFSOC crew on an MC-130J was able to receive targeting data while in flight, pass it over to a simulation cruise missile loaded in a palletized munition, and finally drop the munition, which then deployed the missile. To mark the culmination of the series of tests, in December still of the same year, the data for a target located in the Gulf of Mexico was relayed to an MC-130J and then loaded to a live cruise missile, which was dropped onto a palletized munitions container. The deployed missile successfully destroyed the target, which data has been loaded to its system. This test involved a joint air-to-surface standoff missile extended range, which has a range of approximately 600 miles, but AFSOC is looking to use other weaponry in a similar manner. Per the AFSOC head, the test simply showed the potential volume of fire of the Rapid Dragon and how it would pose great targeting challenges for adversaries. The Air Force is looking forward to loading a similar system to other aircrafts, which will result in varying firing ranges and carrying capacities. Implications of Successful Trials With the promising results that the tests brought, it showed that the Rapid Dragon has much promise and isn't simply something that will exist in theory. Being able to operate from more airfields creates more work for enemies that are trying to locate their aircrafts. Previously, many of these munitions needed a short range of around 3,000 feet to be effective. However, the use of these Rapid Dragon aircrafts allow missiles to be fired from a distance of 10,000 feet and still be as effective. This minimizes a lot of risk for the craft since it requires less exposure out in the battlefield. Adding to that, dozens of militaries already operate airlifters with ease with which they could use the palletized munitions that will result in a great multiplying effect for the force. Following the success of the conducted tests, AFSOC stated that they already have a number of requests from all over the globe to demonstrate and help them integrate the capability onto their own aircrafts. This program that began in December 2019 finally saw the first fruits of its labor just two years later. In December 2021, the initiative achieved a powered flight and successful live fire test from an MC-130J. But by the looks of it, this is merely the beginning of what looks like a very promising project. Why the testing? Per AFRL Commander Major General Heather Pringle, these types of experimentation campaigns address capability gaps among existing units and demonstrate transformational efforts which will greatly benefit future requirements. The testing and development of these units will in turn benefit the U.S. military to defend against future attacks and get the upper hand in times of disputes. With its massive funding, this just again shows that America is a force to reckon with when it comes to military equipment. USAF's Future Plans but of course, the successful tests were just the beginning. Currently, research is being conducted to add some new features to AFSOC's MC-130s, particularly focusing efforts on making possible the amphibious modification of the aircraft, which would allow planes to operate on land and water. 
Actually, the design is already complete and is being tested in a wave tank. AFSOC now aims to integrate this feature on aircraft by 2023. If this plan sees success, amphibious planes that we only see on movies might finally be a reality. Conclusion Probably one of the greatest strengths of the U.S. military force is that they have capable departments and enough resources to continually innovate their military technology. They do not just produce new inventions, rather, they modify their existing assets in order to be the deadliest military in the world. This Rapid Dragon project looks like a simple system at first glance, a combination of two simple techs. But the great thing about it is that despite its seemingly unassuming nature is the damage that it can inflict. Pair that with the upcoming plans to improve the already functional system, this Rapid Dragon program will surely be one of the assets not only of USAF, but its partners from all around the world as well. With this, the US then again shows the world its absurd military power, which can both be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on where you're standing from.